Merry Christmas everybody. I hope you all had a good one. A bit different though, wasn't it? Uh, I don't know. I'd, I'd say I enjoyed it eventually. I wasn't looking forward to it at all. It's actually the first Christmas in seven years that we've not had family at our house. And we could have done, you know, because the rules here where we are in the UK, we could have had three different families, which is what we always mix at Christmas, on Christmas day only, but we all decided for the safety for, of everyone not to bother, so we didn't. So we enjoyed it the best we could, which um, with just the family you've spent the last nearly a year with is uh, challenging, challenging to say the least. I wouldn't have minded going to the pub. It's just like, like last year, Christmas Eve last year, I decorated the bus, I drove it to the pub covered in wrapping paper and lights, and, but not this year. The pub's not been open since November, so it's just been garbage, absolutely garbage. I'll update about the rat in a little bit, but um, I'm actually here at a leisure park, caravan park, not far from my house, which, is, well, not far at all, it's about half a mile, if that which uh, flooded because of so much rain the river burst its banks bless them they had to evacuate all thousand people off the site so christmas eve i decided to send my drone up to assess the damage put it on the um, the groups on facebook so they can see which has had like ten thousand views uh battery was cold so on the way back the drone auto landed because the battery was too low which luckily from the float log in the app i managed to go and find uh which was just sitting on the pavement outside someone's house brilliant and um, I've decided to come back out today bring it back down here just to show people how much has changed in less than a week is it less than a week yeah less than a week how much has changed how much the water's gone back down it's very dirty the water's obviously filthy because it was just so high there's rubbish everywhere but um, I sent the drone up not a problem off it went 85 meters in the sky 200 meters out disconnected disappeared I've been looking for it for two hours seriously for two hours it just i assumed it just carried on going because it was hard to i could still see it it still was in line of sight but it just disappeared into the distance uh so i tried to reconnect to it couldn't find it took the kids with me to go and have a look they were bored and moaning so we decided that we're not gonna i took the kids home and i've returned and i've looked i assumed uh, it, obviously it should have disconnected it has done many times before and returned to me from the takeoff point which it didn't so i've had to go and walk what i assume was the line of sight it was the line of flight that it was taking uh i've got a point on the app where it was last located before the disconnection which is no good to me because it wasn't there and there was no signs of descending on the little swirly line thing that they do so what i've had to do is just walk what i assume is the line it's going to take until the battery gets too low and it lands i've put it on the forums nobody uh, has come forward as yet it's got my id it was a totally legal flight obviously i don't do illegal flights very often so what i'm going to do is i'm going to go back out the way i came just keep looking i mean it could be like here there's a laurel bush i've walked past this laurel bush three times now it could be sitting just in there with its light still flashing that's why i was trying to reconnect to it because the lights uh, if the lights still flash still got battery and might connect to it but no luck the controller would not connect at all so i'm going to carry on try and find my drone if not i'm going to go back get in the bus go around to the next area out of the park which i think this is i don't know how big this park is 250 acres if it made it over the park which it should have done on the battery i'll go to the next bit if i lose it i'll lose it so I might just have to submit the flight log to uh, the uh, drone manufacturers and they should go, hmm, yeah, not your fault, our fault. Here's a new drone. But whether they do or not, well, we have to see. But I will update on the rat very shortly. <laughs> I'm going to tell you that I love you 100 times a day. Right, I'm going to have to give up on that walking bit i'm totally knackered really knackered i've got a bad knee as it is and i've been walking for ages like i said i walked with the kids they got tired took them home come back out <coughs> and i've walked a lot my fingers are freezing cold it's two degrees so i'm gonna go home i'm gonna get in the bus i'm gonna go around like i said to the other end whereas the only other place that it could be there's some open area before like a boat club so i'm gonna give that a shot i've tried to ring the kids and tell them there's five kids at home 
and 90% of the time they have their heads stuck in a device. Yet when you want to ring them or FaceTime them or drop in on any of the 50 Alexa devices in the house, nothing, not a thing. So as long as it's not burnt down, which I'm sure it hasn't, I should go and check on them, make sure they're safe and well, and then quickly shoot around the corner and just check that last bit. Failing that, it's gone. How much I'm gonna tell you that I I want to let you know Oh, you're the only one for me no one else. Oh, This is the last Jesus This is the last time I'm having a look for it, seriously This is um, At the end of the leisure park The caravan park There's a, uh, a um, retail park And then there's a boat club and this is the last place, if the battery made it this far, this is as far as the drone could possibly get. If I look at the flight path, it, this is seriously muddy. Oh my God. If I look at the, I don't know if I'm gonna get much further, to be honest. Because again, this is part of the same flooded area at the back of the caravan park. But yeah, judging on the flight path, it decided that I'm gonna go. This is the last place I reckon it could get to on its battery, especially with it being so cold, because it's like really getting cold now. As it's just just dropped down to one degree. And to be honest, I've had enough. I only wanted to go for a quick walk with the dog and the kids, and I've just lost the back of my shoe. Oh, man. Woo! Yeah, it turns out to be more than a dog walk. Merry Christmas. And a happy new year. <laughs> so yeah, like I said, if it carried on on that path, it could only but what is this a face mask? This is like completely no man's land. And there's a face mask on the floor. In the mud. I'm gonna oh tell God. you that I love you one hundred times a day. You'll get tired of my voice. That's how much I'm gonna tell you that I'll miss you I'll miss you if you go Yes, I'm gonna let you know Just how much I tell your mama I tell your papa too I'm going. I'm not keen on that. I'm not scared of horses, but I didn't know what if, if it wanted to play with me or kick me in the head. So I'm not hanging around to find out. It wanted to play peekaboo, but um, I'm not sure if it actually meant that or not. So, right, that's it, I've had enough. I've searched as much as I can. I can't really, where I really want to go, I could go kind of still on the flight path that it was taking, but it's so muddy, it's so cold, I can't feel my fingers, I left my gloves in the bus. So I'm gonna head home now double check the flight log gonna put it on some more forums on Facebook to see if there's any likelihood that I can get some money back from this and like I said I have got my name not my name wouldn't do that I've got my phone number my operators ID flying ID etc all that stuff plastered all over the drone so if it's not sunk at the bottom of a puddle or a lake or a river that's burst its banks which or the top of a tree because there's some big trees around here then uh, either someone's gonna ring me or it's gone but that's the risk you take with technology like I said 18 months I've had it it's Jesus Christ eighteen months and never ever a problem so I'm gonna get home, get clean, get in the warm, and update you on the birds and the rat situation. I need to get fit. Operation 2021. If I'm not dead of COVID, gonna get fit. Or try. Or die trying. Shit. Right, back home, dry, showered, and honestly, it's so, so cold, but so glad to be back in now. I didn't want to take the kids and the dog for a walk and fly with the drone and do the bit for the community because there's about a thousand people over there on that caravan park and um, 
I think 500 at least are still not allowed back on and they've got so much, they're literally left with an overnight bag. They've got no clothes, no nothing. Some of them have got pets at home. They've got washing out on their lines, all sorts. They literally had to up sticks and go immediately. So trying to do my bit just to let them know what's going on on the park now, how much the water's gone. As, um, well, it's cost me four hours walking around looking for my drone, but enough's enough. I can't find it. If it turns up, it'll turn up. If not, it's at the bottom of water somewhere. But my phone number is on it, so we'll leave it at that. So going back, I'm going back to the rat situation. I have literally nothing, nothing at all to report. My gun, well, not my gun, my friend's gun is going back tomorrow because he has another rat. I don't. I have had literally nothing at all i have had bait in the trap in the quail's holding pen for over a week and it hasn't touched it i've put poison in the holding pen i've put i've changed for chicken in the trap nothing nothing down the hole in the garden nothing at all nothing down here with mice i might be rodent free i might not be we'll soon find out but as it is now I don't have a rat problem and I'm quite happy about that. I really wanted to wake up and find one so I could actually do something about it. Now I still live in the fear that it might still be out there, but it's probably gone. So quick update, mommy budgie, she's still sitting on the eggs. I've worked it out that they're due very soon. She's got five eggs in there. Uh, she is, like I said, she, she is a perfect mother. She's completely 100% on the eggs all the time. Uh, Dad's been in and out as he does uh the avery everyone's quite happy the quail lucky she actually lost her leg i was feeding the birds this morning and i noticed something on the floor I was like what's that and it was her leg which um i don't know she seems absolutely fine maybe it's nice that it's gone now out the way but she's laying eggs she's eating she's she's running around what well, she's not she's hopping around obviously but i have no concerns for her so i'm going to leave her as she is so fingers crossed my rodents are gone 2020 is finally gone what a year it's been we're now in tier 4 if you're not in the UK tier 4 is the highest restriction so you might as well be in lockdown we all might as well be in lockdown yes I do feel sorry for certain people in certain villages where they've got like one COVID case per couple of thousand people that shouldn't really be completely locked down but the situation is not going anywhere in fact, 2021 could be worse than 2020. We just don't know. I've got so many plans for next year, uh, work-wise, that again, is still up in the air because we don't know what's gonna happen come January, whether we're gonna, the schools are gonna open, they might not open again until the end of January. We might have a full-on lockdown. This virus seriously needs to go away and it's not going away fast enough for me, to be honest. So I'm just going to mill on through to New Year, which is not long now. And then hopefully next year we can pick up and start all over again. So thank you so much for watching my videos this year. Thank you so much for subscribing. If you'd like to subscribe, please do. Please like the videos, turn on the notifications. Sorry. Turn on the notifications. That way YouTube will let you know when I've uploaded more of my videos, which are usually just rubbish. I know it's only a small milestone, but I'm only three subscribers away from 200. That's a start. So thank you very much. And I'll see you in 2021. Goodbye. Thank you. We'll talk a cup of kindness yet for all.